Hello everyone, Cheek here with another Transformers review and today I will be reviewing the Transformers Studio Series 98, Transformers Rise of the Beast Cheetor. And originally I wasn't planning on getting this guy, but um, as I, I've seen him in the stores often enough, the color pattern of my opinion is a little bland, but the character toy is actually pretty cool. And look at this lush beautiful backdrop this is almost worth the figure in it of itself and i'm also definitely going to get the optimus primal and if it doesn't have a nice pretty backdrop and has a bland battle scene one then i'll probably want to display primal and maybe cheetor together in this and i definitely want to get the new rhinox not the older not the uh, just slight retooling of the nice one where they actually try and make him look like the moving one more Anyway, um, yeah, he comes with this spear, double-ended spear, which you could then split up into, I guess, two short, pokey spear. I, I wouldn't call them spears as much. I, there might be a technical name for short, um, well, spear-like weapons. And then he does have storage on the back, like right in here. You can uh, plug those into. Unfortunately, you can't transform him with them on his back, but that is the same place for storage in cheetah mode. Um, he does have some nice detail. I'm not saying that there isn't. Uh, now, I might want to ink the lines on his face black, potentially, but nice silver green eyes. I mean, the face is pretty nice. It's just the, uh, the, the rest of the color seems a little bland. Nice detail on the abs and chest spots. Nice maximal emblem right there. Um, and then just more obviously faux fur and other things. Uh, there are some problems with this figure, obviously, but I think he's still pretty cool overall. Robot mode, I think is his strongest, and I'll explain why once I get into cheetah mode. But articulation, like I said, dead on ball joint, uh, physical 360 and all that. Uh, it's a little bit wibbly wobbly, can look down pretty decently, can't really look up that far. Shoulders can do a full 360, actually has a nice little collar that they molded in, that's actually pretty cool. Um, and there's also some like, looks like muscles for the back or shoulder right there, which also translates well into cheetah mode. Anyway, rest of articulation, shoulders for 360, arms go out that far, um, if you don't have him hit his face, well, I, yeah, you pretty much have to do that if you want to get full range, but he go out pretty far. Um, yeah, and the shoulder guards do move to allow for that bicep rotation, about 90 degree bend at the elbow, wrist rotation, waist swivel, you can do the full splits. Legs forward that far, uh, back about that far, but even with moving the leg, it, it can't get too far back. Knee rotation, oh wow, yeah. Well, it's not quite knee rotation, it's almost knee rotation. It's right above the knee, because below the knee, that'd be knee rotation. So technically, fire rotation. That's what other ones that have done knee rotation should have done. Have it just right up there. And it's nice, because it's screwed in there, so it's not going to uh, come off. That's really nice. Not, lots of pins. There's still some parts that don't have pins, but it seems like they're trying to incorporate more pins than they used to. But not many people have done knee, and I am glad they're not enough. Um, ankle tiltage, quite a bit of it, and um, that's about it for... Uh, and Cheetor. So let's go ahead and get down to transformation. Okay, so first thing to do is uh, pull these up. Just pretty much pull up the shins. This one's really stiff on mine, on my copy. Uh, flip up his feet. Rotate at the knee all the way around and it should tab into place on the back of his thigh. On the robot thigh anyway. And he just pretty much, what's it called? Uh, coll ah, there we are. Collapse the leg to be more like a well, feline in nature. And then, there we are, got those legs, and, well, cheetah legs, hind legs, and this tabs right into, or pegs right into his butt, flip the uh, tail out, and then front of the body, want to open up his back, flip out the cheetah head, flip the front, rotate his head, close up, close up, and then close up his, fold his shoulders forward, like so, rotate forward, like so, and then flip around, rotate, flip around, rotate, rotate, and here we have Cheetor in his cheetah mode. And he actually looks pretty decent. The main gripe I have about the cheetah mode is the visible hands right there. It's like so visible. That's the only major gripe, or the biggest immediate gripe. Uh, another thing would be articulation of the forward legs since you can't go outward with them. You can just only bend them a bit. So it's kind of hard to like get the feet and legs exactly how you want. It feels very narrow and also, it looks more bear-like almost, or high, I don't know, it just doesn't look like a cheetah. It looks a little too rounded. On the side, it actually looks pretty cool, but from the front, it just looks so awkward. And yes, his, hand, uh, his mouth can open, and he's a pretty impressive cheetah, I think. It's just the colors are a bit bland and leave a little bit to, uh, leave a bit to be desired. 
Um, yeah, that's about it for Transformers Studio Series 98, Transformers Rise of the Beast Cheetor, Voyager class, by the way. And if you like this review and you'd like to see more, please click that like and subscribe button to see more. And until next time, have a good one, everyone. Mm -hmm.